Hello, I'd like to meditate with you today. Today's meditation is day 19 of my meditation challenge and it will be on the self. So we're going to explore what it means to have a self-identity and where in our body might be our self. So, in our awareness is the basis of meditation. And awareness is the knowingness, the thing in your mind that knows what you're doing, saying, thinking, or feeling at any given moment. So you can recognize your awareness in the present moment, and then you're meditating. So today we're going to meditate on the self, but we're going to start by bringing our awareness to our posture and anything that comes and goes in our minds without judgment or expectation. Just allowing anything to come and go in the present moment. Notice if you have an itch, you need to get more comfortable, you need blankets or pillows. That's okay. Just be present with whatever goes on in your awareness. And Make sure your posture is comfortable but straight. And then we'll bring our awareness to the concept of ourself. First, you can think of your name. What is your name? What does it represent? My name's Emsi. And my name represents who I believe I am, who I perceive I am. And I'll notice that. Notice that perception of self attached to my name. MZ. MZ. Just repeat your name to yourself, in your mind, or out loud. Does it feel like it sums up who you are? Or does it feel foreign? Just notice. Notice where you might feel the self in your body. It says, MZ come from my brain, my chest, my abdomen, my legs. Where is MZ in my body? If it's not in a name, is it in my body? Is it in my mind? Where is this MZ? The MZ nest. Is it inside somewhere? If I chop off a finger, did I lose some of my MZ ness?
or am I whole no matter what? But where is that emptiness? My chest, my head, it's a whole system of MZ <laughs> or who, whatever your name is. It's a system working together, multiple things coming together to create this MZ, this human form. And just notice whatever it takes to make up this form. Am I in my breath? Am I in my mind, my thoughts? I am nowhere and yet I'm everywhere. What does that feel like? Am I in this itch on my head? Am I in my breath or in my digestion? I seem to be all of these places because I need all of these things. I need my breath to exist. I need my mind to exist. And I'll just notice that. Notice this multiple layers that create this self. This MZ. And again, just notice whatever comes and goes in your awareness, even if it's pleasant or unpleasant, if there's distractional, distraction thoughts or sensations, that's okay. Just bring your awareness back to the sensation of having a self-identity and what it's made up of. We perceive it as this one big thing, the self. And yet when we experience it, when we look at it with our awareness, we notice it start to break down into many things. And we'll just be aware of that. Notice what that feels like to, to break down the self into its tiny, tiny pieces, all the molecules that create up who we are, the cells and atoms and bacteria. Am I in the bacteria that make up my stomach? Am I in my hair? In some ways, yes. And in some ways, no. So we can just notice that seeming contradiction, and yet it makes so much sense when we look at it. That we are multiple. We are not just one self. It would be more accurate to say we than I. This being holds so many different living forms inside it. Allowing it to run, allowing it to think, allowing it to feel. This being. Just notice how the self feels full. And 
and the awareness watching it, seeing everything. Is that who I am? That seems to not have an eye attached to it. It's just seeing. Just notice that. Notice anything that comes and goes in your awareness as you become aware of yourself. What it means to have an identity, a name, a body, a mind, a feeling of me, <clears throat> a feeling of I, of oneness. even though we are multiple. But we're inter... Um, interdependent. We're interdependent on all our little pieces coming together to form who we are. this seemingly one being, this one being that seems to have its own awareness. We'll just notice that because that's what it does. It notices things. And we can notice that. <laughs> notice ourselves noticing Noticing who is noticing. And the awe that comes with this sensation of noticing and being present with the infinite potential of being a being, living. Noticing other sounds in my perception. And I'll just let them come and go as I bring my awareness back to the sensation of having a self, having an identity, having a, a feeling of one whole person. And how that's really false. There is no one person here. It's a multiple, it's multiple things, multiple beings, multiple organs and bacteria and atoms and electrons and all the different things that come with being a human sounds that come and go in our background, allowing them to be there as you bring your awareness to yourself, what it's like to have a self, name that might feel meaningless. But it might feel also so meaningful. Notice the sensation of having a name, having an identity, and where that might feel in your body. Where does it manifest in your body? Is the self in your head, in your eyes, behind your eyes? But what would that be without a heart? 
or digestion. We might not need our legs and arms, but we maybe have attachment to them. <laughs> That's okay. We can be aware of this attachment to ourself and to our identity as a human being. It's okay to have attachment. It's natural. Maybe you don't want to let go of the idea of oneself. And just notice that. Notice what it's like to want to hold on to that self. And notice the noticing. Is the noticing where my self is? Just again, just continue to question this, continue to be aware, continue to see and notice whatever comes up in your awareness related to who you feel you are, who you per perceive to be. And then noticing how that might not be true. That ourselves are question, are, is myself in my thoughts? Is myself in my actions? Is, which are something that is not even necessarily fully attached to ourselves. Ourselves and our, or is it in our body? In our brain, our physical brain. But again, what would a brain be without oxygen from the lungs? And blood from the veins and your heart. So just continue to notice this questioning, maybe this confusion. It's okay to be confused. It's natural to be confused. Noticing the itch on my nose. <laughs> Noticing anything else that comes and goes in my awareness. <clears throat> and then just bringing my awareness back to open awareness, being present with anything that comes and goes in your mind without focusing necessarily on the self, just noticing anything. Noticing my hair is getting in my face, noticing the irritation that comes with that. And notice anything else that comes and goes in my mind and in my awareness. Just sitting in open awareness for a few moments before you get back to your busy day. Allowing yourself a few more moments of calm.
Well, I hope you enjoyed this meditation. Come back for more. I'll be here again tomorrow for day 20. <laughs> and I hope you enjoy this meditation. Have an awesome day. Bye.